y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Hey, so boom. Y'all. Yeah, I don't even know. I ain't really got much to say. Like this came out so fire and it happened by chance because my recipe failed like right before this. And I was like, all right, so what can we do? What's the backup? And normally I have a backup plan and I didn't have one today, but listen. Yeah. Yep. If you want to see how I made vegan banana pudding, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you never miss any of my videos, and as always, the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by making the custard. And when I tell you this recipe is so easy, y'all, like it's easy and delicious. Like you could do it. I promise you. Okay. So we're gonna make the custard. I like to use oat milk because I find oat milk to be like way more decadent. And like sometimes you gotta have the right person for the job. Like I don't think this is a moment for rice or cashew milk. If you're gonna do anything, I'll do almond or oat. You know, unless you're allergic, then don't die. But like that's what I would do. Okay, I'm gonna take three quarters of a cup of some vegan condensed milk, aka condensed coconut milk. I find this at my um, international market, but you can get it from Walmart. I've seen it at Whole Foods. You know, it's it's becoming more accessible to find. Okay. And I'm gonna take a bunch of vanilla and I'm gonna bring that to a gentle, not even like, like if this is boiling, I have it like right here, right? You, you don't even want it to be a simmer. You just want it to be like, you know, it's like going on with itself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so now we got, got to thicken it up and um, I'm gonna use a cornstarch slurry. Now I ended up using like two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. You can use more, you can use less depending on the consistency you wanted. I didn't want it watery, but I didn't want it too thick because I knew like as it cools, it's gonna be thicker. So, you know, do we wanna do? I put two and a half cups. Whoa, don't do that, you're gonna get a brick. <laughs> two and a half tablespoons, um, plus two and a half tablespoons of water, equal parts, um, but you know, do what you want to do. I also use sugar sugar, and sugar is in the recipe. I use like two tablespoons. You don't have to add sugar because the condensed milk is condensed milk. It's sweet, but like, I didn't want too much of that coconut flavor because we're not making coconut banana pudding. We're making banana pudding. Okay, so I found these vanilla wafers at Whole Foods and I was like, let me see something. And I read the box and I was like, okay, this is plant-based, period. Like, I was so excited. If you can't find these or you don't want to use them or bought his quasi, you can use Biscoff cookies. They're vegan. They will work as well. They'll be really good. You can also use Oreos because Oreos and banana go together like these, like these. So I think that'll be really good too. Like, let me know what you use if you decide to use something else. Okay, so now this is the easy part. We're gonna layer it up. So we're gonna do vanilla wafers, we're gonna do bananas, and then we're gonna do this custard. Now, why is the custard lumpy like that? Because I didn't wanna stir it. I was like, let's go. I was in between like doing different things and remember like I already had something fail, so I was like, let's get it done. So that's why it looks like that. Don't worry, it's not lumpy, you're not chewing on nothing. I promise, okay? I wouldn't lie to you. We friends, friends don't lie to friends, right? All right, so it is really easy and then you're gonna put it in the fridge to cool. Like when I tell you this is so straightforward, like it is so good and mind you, the holiday season coming up, you know, end of the year type stuff, people gonna be gathering. Bring your little banana pudding on through, you know? Don't even say nothing. When they be like, who bought the banana pudding? Don't say nothing until they taste it. They be like, who bought the banana pudding? You gonna be like, I did. Yeah, no eggs. Yeah, no gelatin type stuff, period. Okay, we're gonna top it off with uh, some whipped cream. You know what would've been fine? If you use like the whipped topping from Whole Foods, it don't have to be from Whole Foods. A couple of brands have like a vegan whipped topping fire i had this coconut one left over from trader joe's it did the job it was pretty good but like you should do that and i topped it with a little nilla wafer and a little banana look at the inside this is an hour later after chilling in the fridge so imagine what my stuff and it tastes like like imagine what my stuff about to taste like when i get off this camera ah! y'all this was so good like honestly i haven't had banana pudding in years like even like before i went vegan because like I don't know, my grandma, Jamaica, she not making that. But, y'all, it's so good. You have to try it. Let me know if you do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. While you're here, check out my other videos. This is a short video. We here, what's it, five minutes, girl? Watch something else. Watch something else, period. Let me know what you think. Thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.